show, my sweet YouTube friends. How are you guys doing today? We are having a post review today, but first, if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. My name is Mia. I live in Denmark with my husband and three cats. And I would really, really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to my channel. There's a subscribe button right down there. Next to it, you will find a bell. If you ding that bell and choose all, you will be notified whenever I put up a new video. Yes, I would love that. And if you're back, hi friends, welcome back. I really, really appreciate you being here. And all of you, please don't forget to hit that like button, that thumbs up button thumbs up button my god <laughs> it helps me and uh it, it well it makes me happy and it helps my channel so yeah please hit that like button let's let's talk about this i love it <laughs> it has cats and it has yarn and if you're new here you don't know i'm an avid knitter as well as a diamond painter so this is this is amazing Hi, Pell. That is the ginger baby who decided to stop by and walk all over everything. <laughs> that happens when you have cats, by the way. But he matches the ginger babies in, in the painting. Anywho, this is from Francesca Studio Works. It is my very first from her shop, probably the only one because she doesn't send to Europe. So this diamond painting was a gift from the wonderful Diamonds and Doxies, Leanne. And yeah, she gave it to me because cats and yarn, she knew I would love it. Um, yeah, I, I do love it. Um, this is a square diamond painting, Thrilled. The Thrills is a square. The name of it is While Kittens Are Away, Mice Will Play. It is 75 by 55.5 centimeters, which isn't too big. It is a good medium-sized diamond painting, at least for me it is. Um, I started this one on the 18th of September, and I finished it yesterday, the 15th of October, so roughly a month, <clears throat> and uh, I haven't, you know, I don't work on it every day. I've had a few days here and there where I haven't been able to diamond paint. Plus, I am not the fastest anyway. I do spend a lot of time not diamond painting due to back problems, even though I'm sitting there looking at it. So yeah, I um, this one has 67 colors and eight of those are ABs. I didn't run out of any of the colors at all. I even, this 823, I know it looks like there isn't a whole lot left, but I have an entire bag still left over. So yeah, and the ABs, you can take a look at those. This is the first one, 518, beautiful blue. <coughs> Sorry, and we have 552 beautiful purple i love this one 602 a pink look at that shine look at that coating these abs are really really good 743 i mean the coating on all of these are amazing you cannot complain about the abs and we have 9.55, a kind of a minty green, and again with the coating. Then we have 36.07, a darker pink. We have 37.66, another blue. This one is more green blue than the first one. And then the last one is the... White AB 5200. 5, so yeah, those are the ABs. And then the rest of them is just, you know, regular colors. But so many happy colors in this one. There is, of course, a lot of black. Because, I mean, 
here and here and, and there's big chunks of black in it. The biggest issues that I had with the black color is it seemed like the diamonds, the drills were bigger than the rest of them. So somewhere it didn't really fit due to that. Um, you can see up here sometimes it didn't really fit at the ends due to all the black, which it annoys me a little bit. I mean, this isn't a valuable piece of artwork anyway, so it's okay. It's fine. The one of my biggest, well, it isn't an issue, but you know, I, I'm picky. I know that when it comes to my drills, but um, <clears throat> where usually my issue is drills with a lot of taps on them, this time the backing was warping. Do you see that green one right there? And there are more. Of course, you will see some. The issue is you can't necessarily see all the warping, but it was just, you know, a little warped so that there was this little edge around, and that way it had a hard time um, connecting. You see another one over there. Then I had some twins, another blue there where you really see it, the yellow. Of course, there are some, you see that one down there also. There are, of course, some with tabs and whatnot, but really the biggest issue, I wonder if you can see those. I have a bunch of blacks. Nah, it's hard to, to catch. But yeah, so a lot of of trash, but mostly with the warped back, some with cavities in them, and then of course some random resin bits, leftovers, which is normal when the drills are resin, and a few with um, tabs on them. But yeah, so that is a little grievance, but I didn't run out of any drills, so that's fine. Other than that, the canvas is amazing. I absolutely love, love, love this canvas. The glue, no issue at all, even though I, event, you know, every now and then ended up sticking my arm in the glue or... Um, just my fingers, whatever, no issues at all. It was so, so sticky. Um, even, you know, if I ended up putting a finger on it, I would have to, you know, yank it to get it off of it again. Um, yeah, and, and the image itself, by the way, the image is from Jenny Newland. Um, yeah, I love it. I know um, Leanne over at Diamonds and Doxies, she said this is her imagination of my craft room if my cats were allowed in there, which they aren't because yarn and itty bitty resin bits, I would end up having drills all over the place and I'm not really a huge fan of that. And also, I don't want mice in my, in my craft room. So I have a question. That is that a hamster? Because in my mind, it's a hamster. It, it, I don't know. What do you think? Is it a hamster? A guinea pig, whatever you call it. Yeah. But yes, I do really, really love this one. I mean, if you look in my um, yarn stash, there isn't that much green and blue or whatever in it. Mine is a lot of girly colors. You do have girly colors in it. Of course you do. But, yeah. I, I have a niece. She's four. And she's a girly girly. Um, even though she has started to like green and blue. So maybe I will end up having more of those colors. But, you know, I love it anyway. I wonder if that is a knitting book with pattern in it. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. And then you have some thread up there to sew in the buttons. And I think that that's finger knitting. Maybe that would be something Rosa would do when she's a little older. 
I need to teach you how to finger knit, or maybe to use one of those. Oh gosh, what a, I mean, looms, sure. Um, maybe I'll buy some, but I would actually rather teach her how to knit. I mean, really knit. And also, I am going to teach her how to diamond paint. Of course, of course I am. I'm just looking at all the yarn and going from there. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but I really love doing this diamond painting. If it hadn't been for the grievance with some of the drills, and this was this would have been amazing. I mean, I have gushed about this one to Leanne, I don't know how many times, and she is like, have you already finished it? I'm like, mm, I like it, and it isn't that big. I mean, I was working on it this way, so it was only 55 centimeters, which... I mean, if if you've been here before and you know what I usually diamond paint, I mean, my diamond paintings are usually 70 by 80, 90, 100, whatever. <laughs> so this is, this is a middle-sized diamond painting for me. And the next one that I'm going to kit up is a big one compared to this one. It'll be 60 by 180 centimeters, so um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to know, do you, have you purchased from Francesca Studio Works before? I would love to know that, first off. And uh, which kit did you get from her if you have? Have you finished it? And did you get more than one kit? See, now I'm, I'm curious. Have you bought from Francesca? Which ones did you get from Francesca? And have you finished them? If you have finished them, you can, you know, send pictures to me on Instagram. I would love to see them. The um, link for my Instagram is down in the description box, just as I will put in the link for both Francesca's shop and uh, also to Diamonds and Doxy, so you can go check her out, my sweet, sweet friend. She's getting closer to 500 subscribers so please go check her out as well give her a subscribe if you haven't already and also if you would share my video you know to friends and families or whoever you think might like this content please do so because i am so close to hitting 500 myself so that'll be fun and i also you know try to get more view hours but yeah so if you want to watch some of my old videos, please do so. <laughs> I would really, really appreciate that. But yeah, other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, I will see you in my next videos. So take care and I'll see you next time or in my live this Sunday. Bye, everybody. Bye. Love you all.